what is up everyone? Um, so continuing with our theme of bettering ourselves, improving ourselves in the year, educating ourselves, elevating ourselves to another level, we're going to be looking at some poetry today. Whose poetry? Um, Gabby Hanna. So, maybe not so elevated, but I guess I don't know, we're going to have to see. Now I will confess that I did glance her poetry, but I very, very promptly looked away because I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it and that was read it for the channel because I just feel like that's the sort of content we need in 2020. The first poem that we've got is called O Positive. I donated blood today. Feels good to finally be somebody's type. That is a poem that a 13 year old girl who's sitting in her room, who's just watched all four of the Twilight movies in a row and is now listening to the soundtrack and just does not know what to do with herself. I don't know when Gabby Hanna wrote these, if she wrote this at the age she currently is now. I am concerned. It's time to grow up. How old is Gabby Hanna? Hang on, this is research. We need to figure this out. Let's take shots. What do you think? Let's age. take a guess. I'm gonna say, let's see, Gabby Hanna has been around on the internet for quite Maybe a while. 27. What do you think? You think 27? I think that's a good shot. Um, oh god damn it. She's been for a while, but she doesn't look super young anymore. Like, she doesn't look like she's a teenager. I don't think she's in no. her early 20s. I think 27 is a good shot, but to make it spicy and interesting, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say she's 29. I feel like that's really old. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> no, shut up. No, no, I feel like that's really old to, be like, <laughs> bet on. Can you undo this for me? You can't undo a bottle. No, it's really... Are you serious? <laughs> so, hey, you say 27, I say 29? Yeah. Okay. Well, she's 28. <laughs> yeah, we're both. So we're both exactly just the same amount of wrong. So sh she's 28, and she wrote that poem at 28 years old. We're gonna excuse that one. Maybe it's an outlier. Maybe the rest of her stuff is groundbreaking. Right. Next one is called Iron. I feel like I pronounced that really weird. Yeah. Why? What? How do you pronounce it? Iron. Iron. Like Iron Man. Iron Man. No. Iron. I. You don't need to pronounce the R. <laughs> Iron. Iron is a completely different word. Yeah, well, they sound the same. Iron. That sounds even better. A Aaron. It's Iron. <laughs> when I was young, my mom used to check if the iron was hot by touching it. And I don't know, I just feel like there's a metaphor in there somewhere. Uh. Is this a poem? Because to me that feels like she was writing poetry and she was just like, okay, let's get some ideas, let's get the juices flowing. Hmm, hmm. My mom used to touch an iron to see if it was hot. There could be a metaphor in there somewhere. <laughs> what? It's and I just mistakenly got into the book. <laughs> Is, is, this, is this your poem or is this your notes? the publisher by mistake. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Like, she might have written it on, like, the double side. <laughs> and the publisher was like, is, th is this one? And then she probably looked at it and was like, do you know what? Yeah, <laughs> throw it in there. Anyway, the next one is one that I have glanced. And this is the one that threw me over the edge. Because honestly, like... No, this is it. This is the poem that did it for me. Like, this is the poem that if I wanted a top tier meme gravestone, this is the poem that I put on it. Because, like, I don't think you'll understand this. Gabby's Hannah's logic with this poem is so beyond our realm that there isn't a single English teacher on this world that could decipher it for you and figure out the meaning of it. Like, it is actually, like, we're here in 2020, just barely. Gabby Hanna is in the year 3052 with this poem. Like, are you joking? Are you ready for it? I Like, you're never going to be ready for it, but you just have to brace yourself. This poem is called Relative. Time is relative. Beauty is relative. Family is relatives. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even grammatically correct. Family are relatives, not is relatives. When I tell you, I can't. I can't deal with this poem. I read it when for the first time and I cried. 
It is such an emotional <laughs> pub. I can't deal. Just thinking about it makes my day better. So honestly, Gandhi Hannah, if you just were looking to make people laugh, you were looking to make people happy, then honestly, five stars, bitch, because you done did it. <laughs> this poem, favorite thing of 2020 so far? I mean, I kind of think so. I've started Bullet Journal, and I'm really considering putting this poem like front and center, because Jesus fucking Christ. What did I tell you? Were you ready? No, I bet you that slapped you around the face like a fucking salmon fish. What was that? I love that poem. So this poem, it's called Inspired. Okay, we're gonna read it, and then we'll discuss. Okay. The next poem you're about to read is because it suddenly came to me. I hopped out of the shower soaking wet to write it down before I could forget. So I really hope you like it, because I just lost my security deposit when I drenched my brand new carpet so you could read it and think, fam, this is lit. Hope the next page was worth the compromise of shampoo running into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> is this like a meme book? Like, <laughs> is she serious? Like, can someone um, please tell me if she like did this book seriously? Because I actually couldn't even read that with a straight face. And again, this seems like something she just wrote as like a note. She's like, oh bitch, I ran out of the shower. I wrote this down. I lost my security. Okay, first of all, can we discuss that this is not logical? When do you lose your deposit when you drench your carpet? And also, fam, this is lit. I did not know that someone who's 28 years old could make that phrase sound so lame. Can we just agree to just not say that ever? I like, I'm lost for words at this stage. Like, I just don't know what to say about this poem. Like, it's not a poem. That's what annoys me, I think, about these the most is like, they're not poems. They're just your brain vomit coming onto the page. And I like, ah. Is there anything else to say about this poem? Because like, I'm just like, whew. It's otherwise. <laughs> Why are you so quiet? You don't like poems? No, <laughs> not these poems. I mean, let's think about it. Like, we've got Seamus Heaney dropping absolute bangers. We've got Shakespeare. We, we, like, we, literally, we've spent decades analysing, pondering the meaning of all the words he's written on pages. We've got William Wordsworth. Even the name sounds like Regal, poetic. And then we've got Gabby Hanna saying, so you could read it and think, fam, this is lit. I mean, one of those is not like the other. This next one is called sleep. Okay, so, okay, so first of all, there's many exclamation marks. So I, I want to stay true to life. So we're going to emphasize the question question marks the exclamation we're gonna make sure that you know there's exclamation marks in there i like sleep sleep is neat if you're having trouble count some sheep i like sleep sleep is sweet best of all sleep is cheap when i sleep i can dream of cherry pie and mustard cream when i sleep i don't have to think that's why i love my eight hour blink i only wake up to eat or pee Otherwise, I'd sleep for an eternity. <sighs> Fuck. I think Cooper could write a better poem than that. <laughs> well, that was a journey, because this seems to me like, you know when you're in like primary school and you just starting to learn English and your teacher comes to you and says okay so in today's English lesson we're going to be writing poetry now poetry rhymes you know there's exclamation mark blah 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 now can you all of you please go home and for your homework write me a poem and this seems like exactly the sort of thing that a child named Kyle would go home 
forget to do his homework, sleep, wake up in the morning, and realize, oh, fuck. Mrs. O'Donnell Scherzinger Schwarzenegger. <laughs> you can't laugh in the middle of my joke. How are you going to edit that out? That's what Miss O'Donnell Scherzinger Schwarzenegger asked us to write for homework, and I have nothing. And you just write that while you eat your freaking Cocoa Pop cereal. <laughs> <laughs> but the next one is called Ouch. Like we've just gone down the stairs, thrown ourselves down the stairs, hit our heads. And so we can stop reading this. So this is called Ouch. And the first line reads, well, I'll read you the whole thing, but just the first part, the first line I will actually act out. So, Ouch, by Gabby Hanna. His hand in my hair and his smile on my lips. This is gonna hurt. I bet you read that and didn't even realize. That's a haiku, bitch. That's it. That's the poem. Okay, hang on. Okay, so, okay. Let's analyze this. Let's, let's not fly through it. His hand in my hair, his smile on my lips. This is gonna hurt. Like, I can't, I can't even analyze anything. There isn't anything to analyze. This is not poetry. You just tell me what's happening. There isn't anything to analyze. I, 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 Analyze. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. Mm. Everything I just ate in like the last four hours just tried to come up. Okay. I swear that wasn't a reaction to Harry poetry. I'm not that bad. Moving on. Oh. Okay. There's art on this one. I was just assaulted with just a bunch of butts in my face. And I mean, there's all sorts of butts. There's round butts. There's saggy butts. But this poem is called Advice 1. My favorite thing is the fact that this insinuates that there's Advice 2, Advice 3, Advice 4, and honestly, I really want to read all of the advice. And is this advice coming from Gabby? Because I am in. I really want three bottles of wine lined up right here while I read all of the advice. So, Advice 1. When I was young girl, girls asked, does this make my butt look big? in like a concerned way. And now girls ask, does my butt look big in an excited way? So don't worry, your butt will be trendy someday. I don't know why I'm disappointed. Why am I disappointed at this stage? She didn't even try with this one. Like this is not a poem. I mean... It's more like a tweet. It is more <laughs> like a tweet. I, did she just take someone's tweet? Hang on, hang on. What is the definition of a poem? Nah, no, Google's it. Hey, Bixby. What is the definition of a poem? Okay, here we go. Poetry is a form of literature that uses aesthetic and rhythmic qualities of language, such as phonesthetics, sound symbolism, and meter, to evoke meanings in addition to, or in place of, the prosaic ostensible meaning. <laughs> that definition could not have been more pretentious. Jesus Christ. That's from Wikipedia. But I, I was gonna say that poetry is open to interpretation, but like even by that definition, this is not poetry. Oh, this one's advice three. Okay, we know what advice one is. Don't worry about your buttocks. Wonder what advice three is gonna be. Always lock the bathroom door because 10 out of 10 times it prevents an awkward situation, but do it even if you're home alone because if a murderer comes, you'll want to have time to pull up your leggings and die with dignity. Did she forget that she was writing a poetry book halfway through this book? What happened? We've lost grammar. She's like taking away letters. Listen, lady. You're almost 30 years old. It's time to put the letters back in. I'm concerned. I'm really concerned. Does Gabby Hanna lock her door every time she goes into the bathroom? Because you know why? Because I'm really worried that she forgets that the bathroom floor gets slippy when it's wet. And then if she falls, how is the MT going to get to her bathroom when she's just locked herself? You definitely lose your security deposit. Yeah, that's how you lose your security <laughs> deposit when the fucking EMT has to bash into the bathroom door to get to you because your stupid ass fucking slipped on the wet bathroom floor. I thought maybe there was like one or two there, you know, they were just kind of like, haha, I'm just being quirky, funny. This is kind of funny because it's so bad. And then there's some legitimate poems here that are good. No, like, I mean, like, we're just scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Like, what's happening? Lotion. Have you ever received a gift that was placed inside of a box that was recycled from another 
much more intriguing present? Question mark. Like, you pull back the pretty paper and you see iPad packaging, but then you open the lid and inside is a lotion set? Question mark. I meet a lot of people like that. Exciting outside, disappointing inside. Don't be lotion. Okay, can we make lotion and insult? Let's make this a 2020 movement, please. Thank you. If you're on the video, if you've made it this far, please comment down below. Lotion. And if you watch the video and you follow me on Instagram, please go under any of my pictures and comment down below. Lotion. And if you do so, I will love you forever. Let's make it happen. That is my wish for 2020. Thank you so much. That is my new resolution. I know we're almost mid-January. You can still make new resolutions because fuck time. Because guess what? Time is relative. I don't think there's been anyone ever in the world, unless they were being pranked specifically, that ever received lotion in an iPad box. So she definitely made that one up. It's not relatable at all because it's never happened to me. And I'm pretty sure it's never happened to anyone else in the world. Um, and you know what, bitch? Lotion is great. I get dry hands all the time. So if I get lotion, I'm not disappointed. So fuck out of here with your don't be lotion. Perhaps I want a lotion. See, I think she was onto something there. You know what I mean? Like, she could have made this meaningful. Exciting outside, disappointed on the inside. Like, I get it. Like, one of my friends just decided to sleep through his alarms today and not show up to brunch, and he's an adult. Disappointing on the inside. I get it. But you decided to make this metaphor about it? You know what? This one was not the worst. You know what? We're gonna give you a pass. Like, you made up that whole story at the beginning, and it's not relatable, but we'll just give you a pass. Make lotion happen, 2020. Let's go. Next one is called concealer. I wear makeup because I have acne. I have acne because I wear makeup. Fuck. That fuck was just my addition. Okay, I added that. That's not in her palm. She's not that advanced. Okay. Um, I'm, like, very disappointed, to be honest. Like, I expected... Did I expect better? Like, I expected a little bit better. Like, the previous one raised my hopes a little bit. Gabby, have, like, I have, a like, the most simplest solution for you. Just stop wearing makeup. Because it seems like that's the root of all your problems. I wear makeup because I have acne. Okay, stop wearing makeup, you won't have acne. Or go to a dermatologist. Jesus Christ, you're in LA and you have lots of money. She could afford a session. Okay, I farted. <laughs> Why are you farting <laughs> while we're reading Gabby Hanna's poetry? That's fucking disrespectful. <laughs> so I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> This one's called Chivalry. I'm not some no-brain bimbo, and I'm not some helpless girl. I am fucking remarkable, and I deserve the world. I don't need you to open my door, but the gesture would be nice. I don't need you to buy my meal. The offer would suffice. I don't need to be taken care of, but it'd be cool to know you care. I'm a holographic Charizard, highly desired and rare. Yo, I even drop Pokemon references, because I'm fucking dope as shit. I'm good with just me. I don't need you. Not even a tiny bit. Remember that thing I said about a 13 year old girl so it's like sitting in her room after watching Twilight? We're back to those vibes again. I'm gonna call you out because you're being inconsistent, Gabby Hanna. In your other poem called O Positive, you were saying that you'd crave to be somebody's type. And yet here, a few pages later, you're telling me that I'm good with just me and I don't even need you, not even a tiny bit. Um, so what is the truth? Do you need a man or do you not need a man? Because I'm getting very mixed signals. But you know what? Actually, she is onto something there. She is quite rare with this poetry. Because I'm not sure many other people would be able to come up with this shit. And it says, If a guy doesn't answer your texts for three years, does that mean he's not interested or is he just playing hard to get? Whatever, I don't mind taking it slow. Okay, so I can answer that question for you like really, really easy. Like it's super quick. He's not interested and he's not going to respond unless he happens to be very horny and there's no other options available. Like that's just the cold hard facts, the cold hard truth. If he's not responding to you, he's not interested unless he has no other choice. We're gonna move on because that was shit. The next one's called dog. I'm a wounded animal. If you corner me, I'll bite. But baby, I don't want to hurt you. I bare my teeth and fight. Okay, see, this one is not the worst. This one is fine. My only issue with it is, why would you name it dog? Are you calling yourself a bitch? Do you think Gabby Hanna is on that level? 
to think that deep into the name of a poem because I'm not quite so sure seeing the other stuff. See, this is not my kind of poetry anyway because it's very sappy and it's very like, it doesn't sound very healthy relationship to me or anything like that. So it's really not my type. But this is probably your best yet. The last one we're gonna go through is on the longer side. It's called Cut. Her hand trembled around the sharp, cold metal as she looked at her distorted face in the mirror. Just do it, she told her reflection. Don't do it, her reflection replied. Come on, pussy, she shouted at the glass. You're going to regret this, you always do, the glass warmed back. No one gives a shit if I do it, she reminded them both. This is a permanent decision based on a temporary emotion, the mirror pleaded. Hair goes back, dumbass. <clears throat> See, you think she's fooling me, but she's really not. Because from the beginning of that poem, I knew straight away that she ain't talking about no self-harm. She ain't that deep. I knew she was going to talk about hair cutting. But I just had that inkling that there was no way she was going to make that deep of a metaphor. So we've been on a journey. We've been on quite the journey, in fact. Having gone through all of these poems, did we learn a lot? Um, we learned a little bit. We learned that Gabby Hanna can decide whether she wants a man or doesn't want one. And... Um, I think that's about it. So that's the extent of it. So perhaps this wasn't so educational, perhaps we're not quite so elevated. Why Gabby Hanna wrote this book, I'm not entirely sure. Who published it? Uh, again, I'm not sure, perhaps she's self-published. And um, would I read it, the whole book? I don't own the book, this is just screenshots. Would I buy the book? No, probably not. What is my favorite poem? Relative, most certainly wins. So simple. Beauty, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like genuinely Gabby Hanna just decided, you know what? I'm gonna be the poetry girl now. I'm gonna do poetry. And she just bought a notebook from Target and decided to just write shit in it. And then she just went, hey, agent, my agent, come here, here, publish this. And this is what happened. And if anyone knows, please let me know if that's close to the real story because I'm, I don't know any other scenario. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, if you did, remember to drop a comment. Don't be lotion. Don't be lotion. Um, I want to see don't be lotion in the comments. I want to see that on my Instagram. I want to see it everywhere. It is my favorite poem. No, that's not my favorite poem. Relative is my favorite poem. This one, lotion, is the second. It's a close second. But anyway, if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe, um, and I will see you again very, very soon. Next week. Bye.